আসসালামু আলাইকুম হে এভরিওয়ান দিস ইজ আমিন এন্ড ওয়েলকাম টু মাই ইউটিউব চ্যানেল আমিন সার্ভিসেস ইন দিস ইউটিউব চ্যানেল নাও আই উইল শেয়ার অ্যানাদার ডাটা স্ক্র্যাপিং টিউটোরিয়াল বিফোর স্টার্টিং দ্য টিউটোরিয়াল আই এম রিকোয়েস্টিং ইউ ইফ ইউ আর নিউ টু মাই ইউটিউব চ্যানেল প্লিজ সাবস্ক্রাইব টু মাই ইউটিউব চ্যানেল অ্যান্ড শেয়ার দিস ভিডিও টু ইউর ফেসবুক টুইটার লিঙ্কড ইন হোয়াটসঅ্যাপ অ্যান্ড আদার সোশ্যাল মিডিয়া সো আদার পিপল ক্যান অলসো লার্ন ফ্রম দিস ভিডিও and after watching this video if you have any question about web scraping or about this video please comment on the video or if you need my service at a very cheap rate you can contact me all my contact details you will find on the video description below also on my youtube channel cover page so let's start the tutorial i will use this website profilefinder.ie to as an example and when you go to this website you will find total uh, 400 uh, sorry 4645 matching result we found here and each page contains 20 persons here and at the bottom of the page you will find there are more web pages that means we can use the pagination I have already used Web Scrammer Chrome extension to scrap this website and you can watch this video this one I can I will give the video link on my video description so can you can easily find it now I will use the free software to scrap this website and this software is Octopus and here is my Octopus software interface if you still not create if you still not uh, install the octopus software please go to the octopus.com and create a free account there it is totally free and just download and install the octopus software that's it so here you will see this is the interface of octopus software and i will scrap this website here to scrap this website here uh, you see here notice that page one equal uh, this this is the page one and if you click on here okay this one page two here you see that page two and if you click on here the page three this is the page three that means this number is automatically changes when we click on the num page number okay so this is the thing we have to follow and here again i want to click on the page one as this is our starting page and as you see that this page one is not appeared here to get this one click on again here page two and when you click on page two we found this result so here just uh, write page one so page one this is the main page one or okay for that just copy this page one here and on the octopus.com you will find this option uh, click on the new then click on advanced mode when you click on advanced mode a new tab will appear and here you see the input url choose the enter manually then click on the website okay i just uh, paste my website here and click on save when you click on save this website will be loaded on the octopus built-in browser so this is the website we found here it is successfully loaded here it is loaded here now just uh, click on here okay then the uh, on the profile page here just click on here when you click on here you will see the option button will be appeared here okay this one is the thing so just click on here select okay we just want to select all i just want to select all when you click on select all and i select all the persons will be selected on the first page here then you have to click on here you see lot of option here but you have to click on here loop click each url just click on here loop click each url when you click on loop click each url a loop button is automatically uh, created here you see that it is automatically created now we need to scrap the data for this one just want to go scrap this one okay choose this one and extract the text of the element here and again click on here and click on here extract the page element here and uh, this way we can also choose the nationality and part nationality and the language i also want to get the this persons 
and want to get the extract the text of the selected element here undo this one okay just choose this one and extract the text of the selected element and this one extract the text of the selected element so we have successfully selected all the required data from here and in the bottom of the page you will see data data preview here so here you can change the name of this one so i will name the name name it will be the name this will be the titles okay this will be the titles this will be our nationality okay i just write the nationality here nationality and here write the language okay we have write the language here but the important and the difficult part of this uh, scraping of that website is this one call agent and the email agent so just click on here call agent button here call agent button and you will see the extract the text of the selected element or extract the url of the selected element when your cursor will be on the option button you will see the data preview so i normally choose the extract the url of the element and you will see the data preview here and the same way i want to get the email address from that email agent click on here email agent and extract the url of the selected link okay i can and you will see the data preview here so just uh, just rename the url it will be the our phone number it will be the phone number this will be our email address this will be our email address the same way we can follow to get the company name just choose the company name and extract the text of the selected element the same way just click on here view profile extract the url of the selected element so we have successfully get all of the thing here just company name it will be our company and it will be our company url so i just keep it as url so these are the all targeted data we have successfully selected from this website now you can also select all of the data that you want to get here okay now you see here we have successfully done all the thing from the first page of that individual person now just click on here go to web page okay go to web page when you click on the go to web page again we back to our main web page here okay now this this thing will be applied for all of the person on the first page but after collecting all of the first page this will be stopped now we want to get also the data from all of the page 2 page 3 and the rest all of the patient for that we will click on here okay next button when i click on here next button you will find okay you will find the option here okay loop click single url just click on here loop click single url when you click on here loop click single url you see the page is changes here so we go to the page 2 that means this this will be applied for rest of the uh, page we found here and on the right side you see another uh, another workflow is created and the workflow is pagination okay so we have to do little changes here this loop item just click on here loop item and then just drag it here okay and paste it and this loop item will be inside of the page button okay pagination button so go to the website then the pagination and the loop will be applied and the, then click on the click on the this one click on the next page so this process will be applied to scrap all of the data from this website here okay now set as a timeout i just uh, want to set it two second as i don't want to uh, select don't want to lose any data here okay uh, it is just not working here okay so okay this one time will be two second uh, sometimes okay no problem just okay i just want to show you you can set is the two second here now click on here save button when i click on save button task name already exist as i have already done this project just click on here confirm now you will click on here the run button okay just click on the run when you click on run you see that uh, this pop-up window will appear and you can choose the boost mode 
if you are the paid subscriber of that octopus software or if you are the free account then click on here standard mode so i click on the standard mode and a pop-up window will appear here so this is the pop-up window you see and you will find the data preview here the data that are scraping here so zero data extracted here and it is just running here and you will see all the update here so page that means person one is scraped here successfully person two three four data already scrapped and you will see if you find any duplicate data you will see the duplicate lines here or you also see the run time that means how many times uh, this scraper is running and you will see how many rows or lines it is scraping per minute all of the update you will find here okay so i'm just uh, i'm just showing you few of the data so that you can understand everything here because this page contains 20 data and i want to show you the page to how it is work so that you can understand it properly so we found here 15 data is scrapped here okay you will see the everything here this is the page 2 data you see that yeah, as i have already told you that each page contains the 20 data so you see here we have already uh, scrapped the 25 data here now i just want to stop this scraper here click on here stop then click on confirm okay then click on export data i want to export data in my computer and it will ask you in which format you want to get the data i want to choose the excel just click on here okay then it will ask where to download the data click on here okay download then click on save and it is just exporting just click on here open file i want to show you what data we have get from that website okay we see this is the data we have found from that website this is the name title and uh, all are the fresh data we found here now just need a little change here and i have already told you the process is just click just select all of the to tail plus and select this one ctrl h to get the find and replace option here and just click on here replace all okay replace all okay and the same system will be applied here okay the same system will be applied here mail to and choose this one okay just replace this one mail to and here write nothing replace all and you see our email is also ready for one company name is the website so this is the completely fresh data we have found here i have a question for you here the phone number you see it is not good looking purpose so please comment on the video if you know the process how to make this uh, phone number properly this way okay if you know please write the i know in my comment in the comment or if you don't know please write the don't know i will share in my next video more details so friend this is the total process i just wanted to explain in this video if you think this video is something helpful for you please subscribe to my youtube channel and please comment on the video so that i can understand you have liked my video or not thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video bye